Paradigm is developing pentosan polysulfate sodium as a repurposing drug for use in the treatment of osteoarthritis and other musculoskeletal indications. We've uh, registered the drug as xylosol in its injectable form. In today's video, we are going to look at the results of an expanded access program that treated patients who developed osteoarthritis uh, due to athletic injuries. An expanded access program is a program that is made available through the FDA that allows a pathway for access to treatments that are not available outside of a clinical trial. Currently there are about 30 million Americans who have osteoarthritis, 10% of men and 18% of women over the age of 60 have osteoarthritis and 25% have severe uh, issues regarding self-care tasks. The US FDA recognizes that osteoarthritis can be a serious uh, condition and treatment for osteoarthritis is symptomatic. It consists mostly of pain medication, sometimes physical therapy and the benefit from pain medications is limited. We also have particular concerns about the use of opioid drugs. Given our more recent understanding of some of the very, very adverse effects of uh, opioid therapy, uh, that is not a uh, drug that we lean to. Opioids are prescribed to approximately 30% of patients who have osteoarthritis of the knee. Unfortunately, this particular type of medication is associated with a number of side effects and complications, including tolerance, dependence, addiction, and overdose. And for these reasons, there remains an unmet medical need for the management and treatment of osteoarthritis. And that is exactly what Paradigm is aiming to do with the development of injectable xylosol. We're looking at a drug that can modify and reduce pain, but also affect some of the disease pathology that results in debility um, from osteoarthritis. In this video, we'll also look at the uh, stories of some of the athletes who participated in this expanded access program. NFL players are about three times as likely as the general population to develop osteoarthritis of the knees and this is thought to occur either, either as a result of single or cumulative trauma over the course of time. I got drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers, moved on to the St. Louis Cardinals and ended up in Miami after about a year and had a stellar career in Miami seven years there and personally me myself uh, I've had some injuries I had total reconstruction on my left knee. I've had my left knee actually uh, scoped uh, three times as a player. Pittsburgh Steelers drafted me out of Baylor and then I got traded to play their five seasons uh, on to Dallas for two and then I finished my career in Tampa with the Bucks. Of course, lots of uh, nagging pains, injuries, joints throughout the, my career. The last year I, I took my uh, Achilles and my, right, and my right knee, so both knees I've had surgery on them. I had a scope on my right knee for an ACL tear. Uh, left knee meniscus is gone. Um, I've had an Achilles tear. I had joint pain all through football, but you really start seeing effect after uh, I left the game. When I got to about 35 years old, that's when I started to really notice a lot of joint pain. It hindered my going upstairs, downstairs, um, hindered how long I could drive. Man, when I got into my mid-40s, it really started, uh, I started feeling it, especially going upstairs. Uh, the more weight I put on, uh, it just got worse. Uh, sitting in a position, trying to put shoes on. I started out, uh, of course, I gave up running because it hurt so bad. So I said, well, I bought me a bicycle. Uh, so I started cycling. And I because they said, you know, cycling is good for the knees and the joints. Uh, so I started doing that. But then I started struggling doing that. So I, I started walking and I'd walk, you know, three miles every other day until it just, the pain just got to where it was a struggle to walk. Uh, a lot of guys get caught up in the game of I'm in pain, I'm in so much pain that I need to continue this process. Unfortunately, that process started as a player with opioids and of course painkillers. You just took whatever they gave you. Heck, some of the drugs, I don't even know what they were, but I took them anyway because my job description was for me to be on the field and play. Today I'd like to discuss some of the interesting results that we've obtained from our FDA expanded access program. 
the multifaceted actions of PPS involve reduction of joint inflammation, reduction of cartilage damage, reduction of nerve growth factor mediated pain, and also the reduction of bone marrow lesions in the subchondral bone. This slide here demonstrates the WOMAC pain results. The total WOMAC pain subscale shows an overall reduction of 65.73%. Nine out of 10 show a reduction in WOMAC total pain. Eight out of 10 show a reduction in joint stiffness. And nine out of 10 show improvement in the physical function. There were no significant adverse events reported in this study. And after about 12 weeks, continuing the process, even now, I don't feel some of the pain that I've actually had, knee pain, ankle pain, shoulder pain, I sleep better. And I started, you know, kind of noticing that, okay, I can, I can stick my foot in here a little harder and, and do that. And so it's been uphill since that. I actually stopped running because my doctor told me, well, not good for your knee. You shouldn't be doing it because you're bone and bone. I could probably run two to three miles a day today. For me, it was eighth. I know some guys were different. Some, it, they felt it right away. Well, I noticed immediately benefit more comfort, like going up and down stairs. Really did help me with the comfort level. I could really tell the difference. I know we focused on the knee, but it's going to help all the joints. And I know a lot of the guys that helped a lot of their joints as well, and, and it did mine as well. I could go upstairs, but coming down, I have to go, come down sideways, you know, sidestep and and then the interesting thing was, is after the trial finished, it was as if I noticed benefits like I had never seen before, because it seemed that as if all the aching had ceased. And this was, you know, weeks after the trial had finished, and then I didn't have to take any, you know, no more anti-inflammatories, no more ibuprofen. Within the second week, uh, I was climbing steps without any uh, trauma, <laughs> okay? Uh, and my shoulders, which are, as a DB, you know, I had a lot of arthritic pain. That's gone. The pain subsided and it seemed like the more I, I got the shots, the less pain I had till, the, till, till at one point I really didn't have a whole lot of pain. Uh, the shots kind of dulled the pain and I was able to start walking more and I noticed I can stand up a lot longer. Yeah, I started jogging again. And at over 300 pounds, jogging was just unheard of for me. So it's really helped in that aspect. And I'm sitting here with no pain. I have no pain in my knee right now, both knees. So I don't know what it is, but something happened. So I can only attribute it to uh, what I just went through. Also, the weight loss, unbelievable. I haven't worked out. I haven't lifted a weight. I haven't had a push up. I walk, I play golf, that's it. I've lost 18 pounds. And, and a lot of the guys that I talked to, they've all lost weight. They've all feel healthier. All of the guys have had improvement in pain, range of motion, and most of, them have, most of them have been able to incorporate either walking or running back into their exercise regimen. I'll tell you what I'm really excited to, about is being able to see the changes on the follow-up MRIs in the next few months to a year. And I'm hoping that what we're going to see is a reduction in the size of the bone marrow lesions that were identified prior to starting the study. Paradigm is encouraged to hear their testimonials and to hear how they have resumed to some activities that were previously limited. So we are very encouraged by the responses that these patients have reported to us um, through this expanded access program. The company looks forward to our next stages of development, which will be the conduction of two phase three clinical trials that will evaluate PPS in patients with osteoarthritis of the knee who've had chronic pain and pain that has not responded to prior therapy. These are the studies that will support the registration for the program so that the um, programs will eventually be commercially available. We'd like to thank Dr. East and his team for conducting this expanded access program. And we'd also like to thank our investors and our stakeholders who continue to support this company and its development. We look forward to updating the stakeholders on the progress of the phase three programs as we move forward with the registration related clinical activities for PPS and osteoarthritis.